To kickstart or enhance your training program, consider adding walkthroughs. Walkthroughs are connected prompts that provide a step-by-step -step guided experience across a single or multiple pages for in-context, hands-on learning. To show your custom walkthroughs to your users, subscribe to My Trailhead or start a walkthrough trial. See the resources for more information. Let's say we're a Salesforce admin who's rolling out Lightning Experience. Because list view features can be a huge productivity booster, we want to make sure our users know about them. From Setup and Lightning Experience, enter in-app in the Quick Find box, then select In-App Guidance. To create a new walkthrough, click Add. The In-App Guidance Builder opens a new tab. This is your home base to add, preview, and edit walkthroughs. It tells you what page you're on, any other in-app guidance on the page, and what to do next. Let's go to the page where we want to add our walkthrough. We choose Account Home in the Sales app because it's a popular place for our users. Let's click Add to save our choice. You can author your walkthrough in the sidebar that appears on the right. First, choose Walkthrough. Another sidebar appears on the left side that shows all the steps in the walkthrough. The purpose of the walkthrough is to show users some common list view features. We start with a floating prompt because it works for most walkthrough steps. And since this is the first step, we choose the top center position. Next, we add the title and the body. Embrace your inner copywriter and draft short but impactful content and calls to action. Notice that as you type, you prompt updates for an instant preview. Click Add Step to start working on Step 2. Repeat the same steps to add a floating prompt, but this time on the top left. Although you can add up to 10 steps, Salesforce recommends limiting a walkthrough to under 5 steps to encourage users to complete the walkthrough. If you create a longer walkthrough, consider dividing it. Let's add the final step content. Now we have our three steps, but let's do some step rearranging. In the left sidebar, we click the up arrow on step three to make it the new step two. You can also delete steps from the sidebar. Our walkthrough looks good. Let's save it. The first time you create a walkthrough, a settings window opens to add additional details. You can always open the settings again if you click the gear icon in the builder header while you edit a walkthrough. Let's add an action link. Because List Views is already set up and ready, we can retain the start date so the prompt appears today. Next, we decide if this walkthrough appears only once or is recurring. We set it to two recurrences a week apart. If you want to show the walkthrough to certain users, profiles and permissions can restrict who sees it, but we allow all profiles and permissions to see it. Finally, we want to keep the walkthrough active. Add a name and a description so you can easily identify the prompt on the setup page later. Let's preview the prompt by clicking each step in the left sidebar. Our new walkthrough looks great and is ready for prime time. Let's click Done. For more info, be sure to check out the videos on getting started and on prompts.